I'm 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 older than <laughs> I'm 22. Haha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so they're going to be starting off on Smashville. Cloud Bayonetta, um, Cloud is said to be one of Bayonetta's worst matchups, but still relatively even. I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, like, as, as soon as you get Cloud off stage, and Bayonetta has a really good off stage game, man. That could be Cheeks, man. That could be Cheeks for Cloud, man. Yeah, but you see what Cloud can do on stage. He has such an impressive force with that big disjoint of his. Of course, man. And usually, man, uh, Clouds like to cover the ledge options with the down air. Like uh, Bayonetta's, I mean, uh, most ledge getups. But the thing is, Bayonetta has so many things off the ledge. So I'm curious how, you know, Earl Venom can uh, take advantage of, you know, a lot of things that Cloud likes to get on a lot of other characters, you know, edge pressure, pretty much air control, and all that stuff. But Bayonetta, I don't know, man. And here you see Faye doing some wonderful adaptations, not letting Earl of M getting to him. Uh, the game seems relatively even, despite Earl of M having a deficit around 20%. Cloud's a big boy, and he's got limit. Like, <laughs> at first, you know, Fade was running away with the percent, but you know, Earl then decided, you know, I'm just gonna bring it back with my sword. Just if I if I'm in struggle, I just need a shoulder press. One, two, three, four, five. Like, and plus, Earl of M having limit on deck, Cloud with limit is a force to be reckoned with because he can just let that trigger go anytime he wants. Yeah, man. <laughs> See, look at that. That's what a lot of clouds like to do. Like, they cover ledge options with air off on the ledge, but it, I, I see Earl of M is going really high with his dares, either afraid of like witch time or something like that, or just respecting Fade a little bit. Too. Okay, there you oh, go. Oh, and you free, see the free, perfect free, spacing free, there, free. getting a cross slash on Fade. Free, free. Taking the first stock. See, Earl of M is coming off of a pretty sweet upset at Midwest Mayhem 11, where he beat Quick. He beat Quick. Uh, tell me about the set. I wasn't watching. Well, uh, let me just say he made Quick look kind of kind of free. Free, man. He made Quick work of Quick, man. That's all I have to say. Who, who is Quick? <laughs> He's a, a European uh, Zero Suit Samus. He's also from the Brawl days. Oh, really? He used no. to go by Quicksilver, and then he just you know, shortened it down to Quick. Oh, and getting a limit climb hazard, getting back on stage for free. 154% running away with a little bit of a lead. See, and that's the problem with Bayonetta sometimes. Once you get out of that combo percent, the loops, like, what are you going to do to kill? Like, Bayonetta has a lot of options to kill, but it's it's very hard to land it against someone like Cloud, who has a huge hitboxes of his own, you know? True, true. What? <laughs> he just said, I'm going to stand there, and then I'm going to pivot right oh, when he's getting died. witch time. Ooh. And Young Fade adding a little bit extra to there with that up tilt into up air. He could have done anything out of that. That was like 200%, bro. <laughs> but you know, this is you never ever ever sleep on Bayonetta. Even at this percent, you're like, yeah, you know what? I got Bayonetta on the ropes. Do you now? <laughs> Do you? Yeah, especially with someone like Cloud who has such a terrible offstage game. Just uh, just a couple of hits and getting swung off, and there you go, he's gone. Oh my gosh! Like I melee Falco, dude, born at death percent. <laughs> <laughs> I had visions about F uh, Faye just about taking that stock right there when he got out of the. Okay, oh, and getting mind, an up air, taking never the mind. first game. Shoulder Earl pressing. Of M. He's like, this, making a score here. He does not need a carry, man. Cloud, Cloud is too good. <laughs> so is Bayonetta. Both of them are really good. E easily top five on this game. Uh, Some people would say top three. Top three? Top three. I mean, I I don't really have a problem. What? I mean, I know Fate did start off as Cheek, but I mean, okay. Okay, yeah, that's what I said. This is the character that I know him for. I'm really out of the camera right now. <laughs> Um, I can't really move over. Two, one, yeah, go. you know, I feel like we should actually right, watch the right, game. All right, all right, all right. Back, back to the game. Back to the game. Um, here you see, here you see Earl of M charging a little bit of limit at the beginning of the game with Fade throwing in the 50 cent on him. This is exactly how the first game started, though. Uh, Fade got early percent, and then Earl of M decided, hey, I'm going to bring it back. He just said, hey, by the way, I could turn blue. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I'll turn blue on you now. That's mine. It's mine. I am surprised that they went back to this stage, considering how strong of a showing that Earl of M had. So, I, I feel like the stage that was obviously banned was up Town City, but I, I would have I said, hey, why not go to Lilac? I wouldn't say that. I don't think Town and City would have gotten banned. Yeah. Because both, both characters do very well on that stage with the lower blast zones. I don't know, man. But then again, Bayonetta's ladder combos being devastating, getting a dare, nearly taking Fade off the top. That is so weird. That The dare hitbox is so strange. On, it, if it hits grounded opponents, it never spikes, but it sends you at a very high a vertical angle. 
Yeah, that's why it leads into things like dare, like Sour Spot Dare to. to... Oh, what oh, type you of saw read? that. <laughs> You, you saw that right there. Getting a limit clam hazard onto the Witch Twist. Not doing anything. Getting a forward tilt, taking Fate Stock. See, that's the thing. That's how good this character can be. You can, mi you can miss your own resources and then still find a way to kill almost immediately. Oh, getting back here, resetting back to the See, neutral. See, if he missed that, there's a possibility he could have died. No lie. What? Uh, okay. Fate getting in there, uh, getting, in there uh, getting a fair train off of that Witch Time, not getting much out of it. I don't know, man. That's That could be it. There you go. That's it. That's it. You know? Yo! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yo! Even if you SDI'd out of that as Cloud, at some point, like after the, the platform already went back, you were dead. Because you had no limit. And you, I think he already used the second jump. That game was a minute and a half, if not just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, man. You know, I, and Hero was saying that I don't think Smash Bowl was the right stage after Fade was getting bodied, but you know, sometimes. Sometimes things like that happen. All of them looking like making a different decision, not banning FD. I'm very surprised on Faye's part. You know, how are you going to land? He was already having a hard time landing. Bayonetta's arguably worst stage is FD. FD. Yeah. Just having no platforms to camp on and nothing to, to help you with, with your landings. Seems it, odd. It, yeah. I mean, look at it. He's already eaten 61%. Yeah, with Earl of M already getting 60. Ooh. <laughs> Just look at this. Getting up to 80%, near 80%, 85%, right at the beginning of the game, the less than 30 seconds. I'm not even going to go comment down the percent at this point. <laughs> it's just, just going to keep going up. You're going to be like, whoa. whoa. It's just <laughs> Earl of M running away with the beginning of the game, already having limit on deck, throwing out a cross oh slash. Oh, my God. Not that was at all. so close. I don't know what he did that, to make sure he didn't get hit by that uh, cross slash, but... He better praise his lucky stars, man. Oh, but you see Young Fade not wanting to get away, you know, not wanting to let this stock get away. Again, Earl of M having limit on deck, less than 40%. Rage not even being activated and Fade at 150. I, I'm just, this stage is very confusing for Plex to both of us. We, we were saying, okay, fine, he's not, like, we would think that he would ban this stage. This is yeah. the stage that we said, okay, yeah, definitely ban. Getting a forward tilt, killing Fade. You know what? I think I, I know what it was. He didn't want to go to Battlefield and get up here to death. But then I'm saying he's getting up here to death here. <laughs> Cloud is just a devastating force that we reckon with within this game. For a lot of characters. And even for the uh, for some people considered the best character in the game, it's, this stage is very hard along with this character Cloud, man. That's it. That's Ooh, getting it. a cross slash. Is it going to kill? Oh, no, wow. not yet. Yeah, here I was saying that's it. Okay, I don't know, man. Fate has got to do some sort of miraculous thing to bring this back. I mean, it could be like something, some situation that he had like last game where he just took him off the side. Yeah, but then again, you know, you can't, you cannot count Bayonetta out of this game just yet because she has such devastating attacks, especially with that witch time and that down tilt to up air confirm that can easily take someone off the top. Okay. But I don't then see again, it. Earl of M turning blue again. Up, I think I think a fresh up air from a cloud can actually take a stock from here. As long as it's not grounded, straight up grounded. That's Throwing out a cross slash, almost breaking that shield. Hey, better so not playing shield. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's gone. Ooh. He'll slide for no reason. See, at, see, at some point, you gotta understand, because he's already lost two stocks, to sli he'll slide. You gotta understand that high percents, when you guys are both at high percents, he'll slide is eh, 